I'm Ross. Am I over there? (laughs) This is a beer. And that is also a beer. Carsboro Porter out of Two Islands Brewing, a 6.0 alcohol by volume. Take a step into the dark side as black as night, like the basalt of Two Islands, with deep red hue and a flavorful profile to match. Chocolate, dark roasted malts, dried fruit, burnt caramel, and coffee dominate an impossibly satisfying and crisp finish. Yeah, it's I don't, definitely malty. I don't know if you get burnt caramel out of it, but certainly a caramel, there's a sweetness mm. to it that I could smell. Mm. It's a very, very, very dark red. It's, it's brown. It's very dark. It's, yeah. it's what I would say. It's, it's basically brown. Yeah, it keeps fighting. There's a little bit of the fruit comes to the fore and a little bit of the caramel and it uh, overall quite malty and delicious it's smelling. Very, very, very malty. Quite sweet. A bit rich. That's uh, that's nearing richness, isn't it? Yeah, very malty. Actually, a little sweeter than I thought it was going to be. I can really taste the burnt caramel. I mean, it, it, it wouldn't just be a caramel flavor. That is a burnt. That is mm. crispy, dark. There's there's a there's a the smokiness to this. Mm. I'm getting s- the sweetness, but I, I don't know what that then that's from. It might be from the fruit. Okay, well, there's plenty of flavor. There's lots of it, and it's mm. um, which is why I'm which is why I said it's. I find it a little bit overpowering. I really do like this. I do like it. I think I have to give that a 9 out of 10, Porter. There's plenty of flavor. It's a little bit much for me. I'm giving that a 7, though. Tatamagouch. Tatamagouch has the Warm Winds Coffee Porter rolling in at a 7.0 alcohol by volume, named after the warm winds that blow off the Gulf of Mexico onto the highland growing er, coffee growing region of northern Guatemala. After a few weeks of conditioning, uh, we went down to Aroma Maya Coffee to fill bags of their Huehue Tenego medium roast coffee right out of the roaster. We hurried back to Tata to add the whole thing onto the porter. Warm Winds is packed with a beautiful coffee bean character and is supported by its rich malt profile. Incredibly smooth. Drinkers beware. Oh my god. And mine. Coffee. This is a coffee porter. Wow. This is just Tim Horton's iced coffee, isn't it? I, I think it's an Irish coffee. This is this is just some tan medium roast with a with a couple of splashes of whiskey in it. Well, the coffee is um, not as strong or overpowering as it was in the smell, was it? It's a medium roast. I think we'll call yes. that one. Coffee bean. Yeah. I'm getting a dark, bitter chocolate and a yep. medium roast coffee. In fact, sometimes um, I'm getting, if I get my nose in there first and take a, a swig, it's coffee-ish. But then if I don't, I'll take a, and I take a big mouthful of it, yeah. the chocolate's hitting me hard. I find them very, very similar. Oh, I love it. That's so much better to me, because I think this is a nine. Parsboro is still a nine, but yes, this is a nine five. Yeah, but the mm, flavor nope. of this is wonderful. I it love this. It is very good. So we had some two islands, and we had some Tadamagush high marks for both. Are no, you done talking like about beer, beer that isn't any fun? Giraffes wearing underpants. 